Hello and welcome. Today I've got for you this Bosna Harmony Line 690G motorhome. Yeah, I'll come inside because it's a racket outside. This vehicle has been very competitively priced, 80,000 euros. So it's been priced to sell. And uh, let's now have a look at it. Citroen base. There's a large-ish seating group up front, L-shaped lounge. We've got an L-shaped kitchen. We've got a German layout at the back. So let's come to the back as is usual. We've got storage along the back. We've got two large windows at either side of the bed. And there's some blinds above the bed. And the blind, as you can see, goes across the entire wall. To get into bed, if we're going to get into the bed like this, we can pull some, this thing out here. But before I do that, let's just have a look in here. Oops, there we have the wardrobe, which contains the second bit to make a German layout. I'll show that in a moment, how that works. And, oh, before I forget, this is a handy feature. Now, something like that doesn't cost very much to do, I would have thought. It's next to nothing, but that makes it so much easier to get your stuff out of the wardrobe when it's under the bed in this format. And another thing which is quite good is this. I really like these slide outs. I think they're really useful in this position. Uh, right, uh, get into bed now. So if I pull this thing here out, steps up to the bed. And that's how I get up into bed. See, I'll do that right now. And this is convenient, so I can show you what's up here. There you go. S storage. One. <laughs> That's easier. Uh, right back there. Here, we've got this shore power lights. And uh, there's a place for keeping your empty cans of beer or whatever else you might take to bed with you. And here is a view down the rest of the vehicle. As you can see, you can close off the sleeping area by use of a blind here. It's a cloth blind. That's the one that I prefer rather than the solid door. Um, I fear that the solid door with use in time will cease to be quiet when the vehicle's in motion. That's my fear. Have I got proof? No, I don't. Well, I have been given with it banged around a bit, I suppose. Uh, right, let's have a look in here. There's a fridge, with a Stepford fridge, with a place to put bottles in at the bottom. And storage there. Kitchen, three burners, relatively standard. What's not so standard is this. This is a feature now being used by Borsner. It extends the kitchen. I think that's a personal thing. That's a great feature myself. Uh, and, um, I'm sure that will be copied by other manufacturers. Uh, in here, there's a look at the drawers. There's the instructions. And there's drawers down here as well. And there's another one down here. And up here, this one's a smaller one. And that's where you can turn your gas on from. Window over here. Here's one of these devices for holding this awful coffee that comes in with these capsule things. So you can sh show people as you walk in that you drink that stuff. And if you want to get rid of that stuff, of course, you can come over here. Here's the toilet. Large shower down there. Here we have a wall which opens up like this. light above uh, but you don't have to uh, do do the shower like this uh, if you don't want to domestic drainage at both sides two uh, drainage points excellent in my opinion and fixed sink storage below the sink and storage uh, up there whatever it is you take to uh, the washroom with you. As the shower head is here, the holder, I think that's much better 
so when you open this you can, you can actually wash yourself in like that and you can see how much space there is as well around here from uh, some one meter 75 and stacks of headroom above me uh, I, I didn't give you the measurements of the vehicle it's 699 centimeters long and is it 232 wide something like that anyway the details will be in the description note there is also a double floor and it's a flat floor so uh, down here we will find that we've got some storage in the floor i'll just show you how it is there you go a bit of storage down there it's about what about 12 centimeters deep something like that but it is a double floor which is the important thing and coming down here i'll show you the floor a bit more Lifting this up, what could be under here? Who knows? There you go, more storage. The runners here, that's to keep protect the floor until the vehicle's sold. Very large table up front and lots of space around the table. Uh, lockers, and this is a bed up here. Now, let's help see how much space there is under the bed there's me so it's not all that here now it's about what 182 three something like that of space under the bed so if you wanted you could always take the bed out if you wanted to but it comes with the van in any case of course the front uh, uh, chairs will turn around and there's a nice big oh, uh, skylight up there uh, right so I'll come out now and uh, continue. Here we can see that we've got a there's a large uh, large garage. Yeah, I thought I'd opened that. I was a bit put off with some coming in there like that. Ooh, what's on here? Can't open this one either. Let's open this one. There we go. Oh, sorry, this is the one I opened earlier. <laughs> I'm getting confused. See, see, the garage is super large in here. And you get lots of uh, bicycles in there. Let's go now in inside this one. Because here, I prepared this one a little earlier. And what I did here was I prepared the bed at the back. So when people say to me, you don't show the bed, well... Oh, somebody's fixed it. I prepared the bed in here and somebody fixed it. <laughs> right, so this goes in there like that. And so now you can see how big the bed is. There's a ladder under here to allow you to climb into bed. Now, if you want to bring down this here, that's possible. First of all, we can remove this, although I don't really think it's necessary to be removed. And this side, I remove it, but I don't think I don't think this is necessary either, actually. So put this over here. And now, uh, oh, before I do that, turn the 12 volt. Let's just check the 12 volt is turned on. It's turned on now. Oh, and you can see the nice lighting as well. And now, let's turn this here. That's in the firing position. Press this and the bed comes down. I hope. Right, so that is where, how the bed is at its maximum point. So there's this ladder as well. And up here, we've got these things to stop you falling out of the bed. We've got one to the other side as well. Oh, I'll mention this as well. There's a British company that manufactures this. It's absolutely an, uh, a superb piece of kit for anybody who wants to uh, to protect the mattress. It's, it costs next to nothing, and it's, it's really very, very useful. And um, I suggest everybody gets one. I mean, you do get them in new vehicles, but those who've got older ones, you might find this inside. Uh, there's a net to go up the other side as well. 
note the skylights above. Right, let's put the bed back. You watch the bed going up. And this pops back quite easily, even with one hand. There we go. And this one as well will pop back quite easily. Right, Citroen base. Here's some of the here's some of the details. What did I say? It was two, uh, 230 centimeters across, not 232 as I said earlier. Put it on a 3650. Uh, kilo base. It can't. You, there is enough payload to put it on the 350, but if you get 3,650, 3, I would go for that, providing, of course, that you have a driving license that actually permits it. And right, this here also comes up very easily, even with one hand, as you can see. And I'll put it the other way around. Good. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, then I've got lots more vehicles to show you. Um, I, I do think the, this, the, the current price that's been offered by this company is very interesting price, 80,000 euros. So uh, if you're interested, links are below. But for the moment, thanks very much for watching and all the best from me in Heilbronn.